Imagine to have a capsule full of people. You put this capsule inside the tube, you evacuate the tube from the air so there's no resistance. Now you can move the capsule from point A to point B at almost the speed of sound using a tiny fraction of the energy. There are governments that have signed deal with us, not only to do a feasibility study, but actually to implement the first full-scale hyperloops. So we are in negotiation with several countries. So as soon as we get the conditional permit approved, we are 38 months away from the first passenger to ride the hyperloop. What we created is a project that uh, immediately from its inception allowed people from all over the planet to contribute hours in exchange of stock options. When you start up a company, you actually ask your friends to join your team, right? And you share the startup moment by giving shares uh, to your co-founders. Well, imagine to do the same thing, but at a planetary level. From the, the, the feasibility study to actually building is a speed up process that allow us to receive 60,000 engineering hours contributed to the project. And they are not contributing only hours, they are contributing also kinds. You know, there are companies, there are stock listed, they donated land, pumps, uh, engineering. The reality, the entire engineering and uh, professional work happens online. Imagine to be able to have right now 860 people that work from 42 countries. Fire VFD and announcement test complete. Fire in five, four, three, two, one, fire.